you're about to get the truth about the ASI Air. Let's get started. So, yes, uh, the ASI Air. How is this video going to go? <laughs> well, uh, for those of you who are subscribers, you know how this is probably going to go. So, just quick history, and I'm not going to go too far in depth. The old timers know, when I say the old timers, I'm saying people from like just five or ten years ago that have been into the hobby of astroimaging. It, uh, things are so much more different. We're not sitting tethered with, you know, our laptops anymore to all of our equipment, sitting outside, freezing our asses off or boiling alive in humidity and mosquitoes. Um, not saying there's still not, I don't enjoy that every now and then, but it's only in the spring and fall or, you know, if I'm out at a star party. But not so much when I'm at home. Uh, you babysat your equipment a lot. And, you know, over the years, things have developed. So, you know, PhD2 got better, SGP came around, plate solving came around, uh, the, the pole master came out. Um, but there's always been a pretty steep learning curve, in my opinion. Though things got easier, more YouTube videos came out, it's improved, and technology has improved, and everything has improved, and we've kept advancing more and more forward, which is a great thing, especially in this hobby. And it made it easier over the years for new people to come into it. And it wasn't quite as hard as what it was literally like 10 years ago in comparison. So when ZWO first came out with the ASI Air, it literally was a game changer. And when I say that was because uh, you weren't tied to OEM cables uh, the uh, ZWO always provides all their own cables with their equipment, which is amazing. When I say it's their own, it's a standard USB cable, standard you know 12 volt uh, power cables, all that's standardized. You can replace them at any time. Uh, that was a big thing. Number two was the fact that it was lightweight, and the reason why it was lightweight is because it was basically just a Raspberry Pi, and it was a Raspberry Pi that uh, was in a Raspberry Pi case. Now, granted, the, it was their OEM software that was uh, uh, that was integrated on it. And usually, I have a problem with that, and I, I even did at this at this point. And the reason why was because ASI Air uh, controlled only, and still to this degree, will only control their own cameras, except for DSLRs. And they only support their own equipment, like their focusers, as well as uh, their uh, their EF, EFWs or their filter wheels. Not a big deal. I, I, I can't fault them for that. And the reason why is because, you know what, they're guaranteeing their own business, which quite honestly is a very smart business decision, in my opinion. And as ZWO has come down on their camera prices and we've gotten better cameras over the years and have a more offering of their cameras, there is, you know, if you're just starting out, there's no need to go to a ZWO, you know, imaging camera, to a QHY guide camera, to an Orion, uh, what, Starshoot auto guider. Um, if you had that originally, this didn't make a whole lot of sense. But if you were upgrading or changing your equipment, it made perfect sense. Or if you're just starting, it made perfect sense. But a couple of the other things about it was that it didn't mount onto the telescope because of the case. You basically just Velcroed it you know, literally right here onto the leg. But you could control it with your cell phone. Uh, you could use your pad, your iPad or, or Android pads at the time, but those were super expensive even and uh, didn't have great battery life at the time. It did have Wi-Fi control, 
and you know plate solving uh, you could focus in real time but basically is because you were looking at a button off mask you weren't using at that point you weren't using their focuser I don't believe their focuser actually had come out quite yet um, of course there's your DSLRs but everything was 2.0 ports the uh, voltage input was easy however this connection was really wonky it, it, your power cable could literally just fall right the hell out. Maybe it was just mine, but it would just fall right the hell out. It was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, everything was saved to an SD card, and your operating system was loaded on an SD card, which was a real pain, and this was the little device that came with it. Overall, it was cheaper in the long run than it would be for anything else, so that made the biggest difference. A lot of limitations. The Wi-Fi sucked. I mean, unless you were standing almost right next to it, the Wi-Fi blew completely, and it would go in and out, in and out. It was not dependable at all. The fact that it was on an SD card, you had limited uh, space that you could actually store on. So if you had a big megapixel camera, you weren't getting a lot of photos stored on that bad boy before you had to come out of it. Give them what they want, what they need, what they ask them. Give them what they want. So the good thing about I've always liked about the ZWO is that they listen to their customer base and they make improvements. So they came out with the ASI Air Pro, which of course is now also discontinued. But they changed it to where you now had the, um, alumina, the, the aluminum CNC machine body on it now. You had power ports on the side of it to where you could power your equipment off of it. So when they, at this point, I think they came out with the EAF, but it was still the 12 volt version. So you had to power your EAF power your camera, and you had a couple of other things you could put here as well. They claimed, I think at the time, you can use do control heaters on here, but it was just straight power. Again, kind of limited in what it was able to do. They did improve the Wi-Fi a little bit, though, albeit not very much. They added the 3.0 cables, of course, um, and I believe at this point is also when, it, yeah, they added on their, their own... Uh, uh, so you could control your focuser, obviously. Um, and they improved the auto guiding on it as well as the play itself. Um, you, I think you could do polar alignment, but I don't know how good it was because I, I never had it. Um, but you could do the polar alignment, but as you can see, this is kind of weird. I'm not quite sure. I, know, I understand the concept because they still kept the, key, the key, same concept as they have now. But, you know, even said you could do it in a couple of minutes. It's now literally you could probably do it in a couple of seconds if you know what you're doing and you had a lot of practice on it. Uh, the go-to's improved on it. The plate solved improved on it. So just, you know, lots of differences that they were able to make improvements on. So, again, you know, they advanced. They moved forward. They do a hell of a lot better. What they need, what they ask for. Give them what they want, what they need. So then you go to the ASI Air Plus, which is the version that we're on now. Um now they've actually put a Wi-Fi antenna on it, which is better than what it was on the Pro, albeit it is still pretty crappy on range, to be honest with you. And you do have the ability to tie it now into your own home Wi-Fi, which I don't know if a lot of people were aware of. Uh, my friend Victor had, had mentioned he was doing it out there. Seemed kind of cumbersome, but he was able to do it. And I tried it on my home. It actually connected rather easily. Um, albeit you're limited on what you can connect to, and there's still a download lag time regardless. But uh, they kept the 12-volt outputs. You also had do heater control at this point. You could actually save onto the device, or you could save it to a USB, uh, which was a huge, huge thing. Unmanned operation, I agree with this 100%. Even the Meridian Flipped worked, uh, works well for it. Uh, I thought that was a big improvement. You The, the speed increased. On it, of course, the fact that it went to an EMMC system was big. Um, it, it was faster, I do have to admit with that. And again, the, supposedly this was to improve the Wi-Fi reception because I think on the Pro you were able to uh, use a Wi-Fi. It's uh, I think ZWO at that time, excuse me, ZWO at that time had their own Wi-Fi extender. I, I can't remember because I didn't have the second one because of the limitations that were on it, right? And when I say the limitations, is because you can only use ZWO cameras on this, you can only use ZWO products, again, with the exception of the DSLR, but if you're using a focuser, a filter wheel, um, flat panels, etc., all this stuff, you're basically using 
um, their equipment. You don't have a choice. Got something to say. You wanted to play. Then come running my way and room when she said this is dead. No, ready to go. About to go in, you already know. Got my instructions, now give me your audience, hand me your mic, and I'm ready to blow. Filling out my cup, coffee talk on the screen porch. 